Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a little bit of work on this Ford Ranger. I'm going to test out some sea foam. I have several things I want to work on. The injectors need cleaned out, so I'm going to put a can of sea foam in the tank. I have a, a sticking lifter, so I'm going to put a can inside the, um, the, the crankcase, see if that helps some. And also I'm going to try to clean out some of the carbon deposits on the cylinder. So today's going to be an, an experiment. We're going to try a sort of a triple sea foam um, treatment. Additionally, after we do the sea foam, I'm going to drain the oil and I'm going to try some Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer to see if that will help quiet down the lifters. Okay, so this sea foam says clean fuel injectors and carb jets due to deposit buildup control moisture and fuel. So this stuff's supposed to work on the injectors. So I'm going to put a can of this inside the uh, tank. It's supposed to take one ounce per gallon, and I have approximately 16 gallons. This is a 16 ounce can. I'm going to go ahead and start the engine so you can hear the, the amount of noise these lifters are making, but the lifters do make a lot of noise, and I think it's probably due to a lot of wear on this engine. This engine has about 167,000 miles. So I changed this oil not long ago, and according to the seafoam instructions, I can add one ounce per quart of oil, either before and after an oil change. So I want to just see how dirty this oil looks right now. And then I'm going to put the seafoam in it and dry it for a few hours and see if there's any difference in, in coloration. Uh, this doesn't look too bad. It's sort of hard to tell, but this doesn't look like it's a really black oil. According to the instructions, I'm supposed to add one ounce per quart of oil. So I'm going to go ahead and add five ounces to my measuring cup. Okay, it's right at five ounces. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my five ounces of sea foam into the crankcase. The next step is to put the sea foam spray into the top of the engine and as it's running. And according to the instructions, I'm supposed to run the engine. It's already warmed up and I'm supposed to run it a little bit above um, the idle. So somewhere around 1500 RPMs. And I was supposed to spray the entire can until the can runs out. And once the can runs out, I'm supposed to shut it off and, and basically hot soak it for a while. The first thing I need to do is remove, remove the uh, intake hose. the can is empty. Um, I noticed towards the end of spraying the seafoam into the engine I was starting to get a lot of smoke out the exhaust. So um, this is an oil-based product or petroleum-based product so a lot of that's just oil burning off. Um, hopefully some of that was the carbon deposits on this on the uh, pistons that's burning off but um, soon we will find out. One thing I want to point out is the throttle plate was extremely um, full of carbon deposits and the seafoam did a really good job of cleaning up the carbon deposits. Now it, the metal is not real shiny so there's some traces of carbon left on the throttle plate but it really broke up a lot of 
of carbon deposits during the time I was spraying it against the throttle plate. It's been right at about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and start the truck. It's been about 24 hours since I treated the engine with sea foam. And sort of recap what we've done, we've added sea foam to the tank, we've added sea foam to the crankcase, and also we've um, done the uh, treatment for the uh, intake. So today what I want to do is I want to pull the dipstick, look at the oil and see what it looks like, see how dark it is. Additionally, I want to drain the oil and um, get a closer look at it. So to me, the oil looks a lot darker than it did yesterday. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give this engine a start. Again, I haven't, this engine has not been started in quite some time, so the engine is, um, the engine is very cold. And uh, it's, it's probably about 45 degrees in the shot. It's going to make any noise. If it's going to rattle, you're going to hear it. It's a lot quieter as far as um, the lifter. I don't hear the lifter at all. There's a little bit of a slight tick I hear inside uh, the engine, but very, very slight. This thing's way better. And um, I could tell after doing the treatment yesterday that I had a lot more low end power before it would, would stall out very easily. This is a standard shift and um, just trying to take off. It just it ha had very low end power. So I'd have to really uh, get the RPMs up this is the oil I just finished draining out of the crankcase. Um, I realize this is not a scientific way to look at this oil. A scientific approach would be to send this off to an oil lab and have it analyzed for the chemical properties. But what I will say is just look at the oil. It's very dark. This is oil that only has three hours on it. So my belief is that a lot of the sludge inside the engine has been freed up and has been drained out of the oil pan. And also what I'll say is I added about five ounces of the sea foam and one thing it did not do it did not destroy the the thickness of the oil the oil still seems to flow so now i'm going to put in four quarts of oil and then of course one quart of the lucas stuff is pretty thick wow look at that this stuff seems to really stick It's supposed to slow oil leaks, it's supposed to, um, it has all kinds of things it's supposed to do. Reduces friction for less wear, higher fuel mileage, and more power. And ensures against oil breakdown in case of overheating. Extends life by at least 50%. Slows blow-by for less pollution and oil contamination. Raises oil pressure and will not sludge or varnish. Alright, just finished adding the new oil and the Lucas. Let's see how this engine runs. Is running a lot better. I am really impressed with this Lucas oil treatment as well as sea foam. If you've got an engine that you've just about given up on, I'd recommend you to throw a few dollars at those um, products and just to see if it helps. I honestly did not think it would work, either one of these products. Um, and as a disclaimer, just so you know, I bought these products on my own. I am not receiving any commercial sponsorship from any, any sort of um, a company, including I'm not receiving any sort of sponsorship from either Lucas or from the seafoam uh, manufacturers. 
So um, I just wanted to try this out on this old Ford Ranger and I am extremely impressed. The engine is running uh, much better. So hey, thank you for joining today and I hope you'll come back for more videos. Thank you.